5.5 half-life. Okay, so let's first talk about what a half-life is. So half-life is the time it takes for half the atoms in a given sample to decay. Okay, so the time it takes for half the atoms in a given sample to decay. So if you start off with 50, how long it takes to go to 25, how long it takes to go from 25 to 12.5, and so forth. Now, here's the thing. However long it took to go from 50 to 25 is going to be the exact same amount of time it goes from 25 to 12.5, okay? The half-life does not change. Half-life is constant. It does not change. So to go from 100 to 50, 50 to 25, and so forth, that actual time stays the same. So here's what happens. After one half-life, you're left with half the sample. After two half-lives, you have one for the sample, and so forth. Now, this math can be a little bit tricky. You just got to pay attention um, and make sure that you're following along with what's going on. So, steps. First off, you got to find out how many half-lives have passed. The problem most likely is not going to say three half-lives have passed. You have to figure it out by using the numbers given to you in the problem. Then, you have to actually answer the problem. Um, you have to figure out the unknown of whatever the question is asking using what you know about a half-life. So here we go. Examples. This video is all examples. All right. So we're going to start off easy. Extremely easy here. How much is left of 150 grams after three half-lives? So this is one that I was saying. This is going ahead and telling you that there's three half-lives. It's telling you that. So step one's easy. You figured out how many half-lives because it told you that. Not all the problems are going to be this easy. Three half-lives go by, and it's asking how much is left of 150 grams. So step two, figure out your unknown by using what you know about a half-life. So what do you know about a half-life? What is it? It's the time it takes for half of the sample to decay. So three half-lives go by, what's going to happen to this? So you have 150, one half-life goes by, what happens? it gets chopped in half. So you get 75. Is that your final answer? No, because it said three half-lives go by. So what happens? It gets chopped in half again. So 75 divided by 2. 37.5. Okay. Another half-life, because remember three half-lives have gone by. So you have to chop it in half again. So you get 18.75 grams. And that's it. Okay, so going back through, three half-lives go by. That just means the sample is literally divided in half three times. Do not make it harder than it is. Okay, so let's make it a little bit harder. Take it step by step here. So now this question is asking how many half-lives went by if your sample went from 60 grams to 3.75 grams. Okay. If you have 2 grams, so it mentions two. you have two different sets of numbers. Both are grams. What's happening here is this is your starting value, this is your ending value. What you have to do here to figure out the number of half-lives is to figure out how many times this is cut in half to get to that. So if you have two gram amounts, if you have two grams amounts, you're literally just going to find how many times is divided by two. So if you, if you have two grams, meaning you got a gram there and a gram there, you, you, find, you find how many times it's divided by two. So what do I mean? You're going to take 60 and one half-life goes by. How much you got? 30. Okay, is that our final number? No, so that means another half-life had to go by. 15, is that our final number? No, so another half-life goes by. So 15 divided by two is 7.5. Is that our final number? No. So you divide by 2 again. And guess what? You get 3.75. So what does that mean? How many times did it take to
divide by two. It took four times, so your answer is four. Four half-lives. And that's it. Okay, because that's what the question's asking for. It's just asking for how many half-lives there are. Okay, so now let's bring it all together here. We got a two-step problem. The other ones were one step. Now we have a two-step. Find how much, how much is left after. Okay, find out how much of a hundred gram sample. Don't worry about this number. That number doesn't mean anything. That's the mass number, remember? A hundred gram sample of AU is left after 8.10 days if its half-life is 2.7 days. It's a lot of words, a lot of numbers. Okay, you might be tempted to just be like, I don't know, I'm gonna throw it away, whatever, who cares? But you gotta think, you gotta use your brain a little bit here, all right? So how much of that is left if 8.10 days went by and its half-life is 2.70 days? Step one, how many half-lives? How many half-lives have gone by? So one half-life is 2.7 days and 8.10 days went by. So how many half-lives? How do you figure it out? So if that's how many days went by and that's what one half-life is, all you're gonna do is take 8.10 and divide it by 2.7 because your total time is 8.1 and 2.7 went by, that means three half-lives went by. Okay, that's step one. Figure out how many half-lives went by. Now here's the thing, if you have both the times, so like days or hours or whatever, you're just gonna divide them. Now this does not answer the question. That's where step two comes in. If you go back to the first slide here, step two is to actually find the unknown. What is the unknown? All right, so it's asking how much of this is left after. So how do you figure out how much is left after if three half-lives went by? Go back here, go back to this example. This one was extremely easy. It's the same thing. Three half-lives went by. How do we figure out how much is left? You just divide it by two that many times. So same thing here. Three half-lives went by. So all you're gonna do is take that amount and cut it in half three times. So you get 12.5 grams. And that's it. So step one, how many half-lives? You gotta read, you gotta think about what these numbers are telling you. So that's how many days, that's how many half-life, or that's the half-life, you just divide. And then using what you know about what a half-life means, um, if there's three half-lives, you just chop it in half three times. Okay, last example. All right, so what is the half-life? So it's asking what the half-life is. If you started off with 650 grams, but after 14 hours, there was only 81.5 grams left. Okay, so you're trying to find the half-life. You started off with that, that's what you left with. Step one, how many half-lives? If you have both the grams, remember, you're gonna take the original amount and simply divide it by two until you get to the final amount. So 652 divided by two, 326. Is that our final amount? No, keep on going, divide by two, 163, divide by two, 81.5. And then it took one, two, three times. I like the number three for some reason here. So three half-lives. Three half-lives went by. Okay, so step two, unknown. So in this case, it's asking, what is the half-life of a substance? What is the half-life of a substance? So if it divided in half three times in 14 hours, how do you figure out 
the amount of time for a half-life. You divide it in half three times in that amount of time. So all you're going to do is take 14 divided by 3 because there's three half-lives. So if you take that time and divide it by 3, it gives you the time of one half-life. So 14 divided by 3 is 4.7 hours.